There's a lot going on here at Expedition Overland. So we got some permission, special permission from Toyota to film our press trip from what we call Drive to the Summit. This is the second one we've done. Two years ago we did a trip from uh, about St. Anthony, Utah, down to Arizona, up into Colorado, through Utah into Colorado for FJ Summit there. Attended the event, grabbed some new journalists and came back. This year, we're changing it up. We're going from Moab. We're going to do the Rim Rocker Trail from Moab to Montrose, drop into Ure, spend a day doing trails at FJ Summit, and then pick up more journalists and return on the same trip. We'll have 31 people go through our camp in 10, roughly 10 days. So we should get with it. Stop standing around talking. Good things to do. Yeah. Overlander is presented by General Tire. Anywhere is possible. In association with Patriot Campers. And in part by Magpul Apparel and Hard Goods. Equipped. Worn. Go prepared. CBI Off-Road Fabrication. Max Tracks. Take the easy way out. Icon Vehicle Dynamics. And the power of Red Arc. I've had Samson on the rack here for a few days, working on it off and on. We got back from the Northwest Overland Rally and we're about to go to Colorado for Drive to the Summit and the FJ Summit. Had to do a few little things to it. We need new springs on the rear. They've just ran their life cycle, so we wanted to get a, another stiff spring on there, especially, especially since this is pulling a trailer. Also, we had the front suspension rebuilt, so we sent in our coilovers into Icon. They re rebuilt these for us and sent us back a great set here. Uh, so those are good to go. And then I also installed the delta joints for our upper control arm. So I've got those in and then I uh, just did an alignment, that sort of stuff. And I'm just putting on the lower control arm skid plates and then Samson is good to go. Before we head out here, we're building one last bag for the uh, journalists. So this year, what we decided to do is kind of build them a version, our own version of like a crate kit or something. So we called Jim, my good friend at Jim, at Red Ox Bags, and he hooked us up with uh, the mini rucksack. And in that bag, they got a stateside shirt from Magpul. They're getting a Magpul docker pouch. Surefire hooked them up with the G2X LE, the law enforcement versions. These shower pouches, we've just been started using these this year, and they're amazing. So check these guys out, shower pouch. And then a Stanley water bottle. We found that this size is really great for uh, coffee, cold water, and it fits inside all the cup holders inside the vehicle. So that's what we issued them for that. And then they also get issued our two new patches that we came up with. Uh, the Toyota and X Overland Drive to the Summit patch, and then a special custom TRD Pro Crawl patch. Good morning, Travis. Good morning. What's your name? Travis. <laughs> and what are you going to be doing on this trip? Uh, I think my main role is to make sure that people are well hydrated, that whether that be coffee or beer. Getting all the final things loaded up into the trucks, hopefully not forgetting anything, and then uh, starting to head down to Moab. <laughs> do it, do it now! Do it! It's about 12 hours to Moab from Bozeman, Montana. With an on-time departure, we should be there in just enough time to shoot some video tonight for Toyota's all-new TRD Pro line of trucks, while the rest of the team gets a bite to eat in town. Sometimes you get a little, you know, like, gotta pinch yourself to uh, make sure you're not dreaming. This is kind of one of those moments. Right now, we're Nathan and I have been left with three sets of keys to the only three TRD Pro, brand new TRD Pros in existence at this moment. <laughs> so what should we do with them? Toyota has now debuted their 2019 TRD Pro line. And that includes a bunch of new details for the true Toyota enthusiasts. 
These TRD Pro trucks are 100% lot stock. Depending on the rig, the 2019 model years come with a brand new set of upgrades, like suspension upgrades, wheels and interior details, and the Tundra and Tacoma have also received enhanced safety features. We've got all our firm film permits in order. We got our monitor with us from the BLM office and we're gonna go up and we're gonna film these trucks and get some production shots for uh, media people to be able to use it in their content. So this is a little behind the scenes stuff on a film shoot today. So let's go. The 2019 Pro Line gets 2.5 inch aluminum bodied internal bypass shocks to improve damping for everything from rock crawling to high speed desert running and better on-road performance. Among the many other upgrades that Tacoma gets, new shocks, black BBS wheels, black tip exhaust, and an inch of lift, and an available TRD desert air intake. The Forerunner gets new shocks and an inch of lift, a beefy red-lettered TRD skid plate, a new roof rack, blacked-out grille, LED fog lights, and 17-inch matte black wheels. The Tundra receives new Fox shocks for two inches of lift, rigid industries LED fog lights and blacked out LED headlights matched to a blacked out grille, hood scoop, black tip exhaust, and wider offset matte black wheels. All the upgrades between all the 2019 TRD Pros is a killer combination. Just finished up shooting some stuff for the morning. Now we're gonna head back, gonna kind of get a bunch of water put on, gonna go to town, do our errands, do our chores. The press guys come in at five. Mm -hmm. They'll be at the airport. TTFN, get in the car, Nate. This is when we leave you. I gotta get an exit shot. Oh, okay. So we've been planning for, man, six months, and today's the day. They're here, they're coming down the runway right now. So we're about to start, let's see, about nine days of epic overland travel, and hopefully these guys get a really cool snapshot of traveling by vehicle. These journalists have all been selected from Toyota to be able to take on a trip like this. While there are some experienced campers in the bunch, some of them have never spent a night camping in their life. With all the journalists on the ground, it's time to settle in and let everybody get to know each other. Right off the bat, conversations reveal that this group is very knowledgeable. We should all learn a lot from each other on this trip. It's our goal to give these guys a great experience in overlanding as we make our way across the 160 mile Rem Rocker Trail. Kurt will handle logistics as usual and keep the crew moving along the trail. We're here. And we're going today up over the mountain, over to this area. Many of them. We're going to camp here at Buckeye Reservoir. So, first of all, I hope everyone had a great night's sleep. I know it was a little warm, but you all look chipper, so I think you did well. And I hope you had a good breakfast. Pretty good. So we're good. They're gonna just do the last little loading. We'll be out of here in the next uh, five or so minutes. Cool. Well, good luck, guys. We won't need it. We're professionals. We're, we're gonna have this thing like 12 feet in the air. Just let me know so I can get that shot. <laughs> Shelly, just go this way. Got it. Keep going that way. Oh, 
You're welcome. If you have any questions, just ask. I'm here. Just a couple miles in, the trail really starts to climb as we make our way over the LaSalle Mountains. The steep sections allow everyone to try out crawl control. This trail starts off pretty good, you know, a lot of the more technical stuff, the loose stuff, is right at the beginning. After we get up towards the top, it just starts to speed up and the, the train gets quick. So, uh, yeah, we're making sure that, you know, we get all the content that we want here. People get experience with the crawl control. If they want to run it again, they can. Even our Land Cruiser gets to demonstrate crawl control with the trailer. I direct Shelly into the toughest line I can to find its limits. Crawl control, multi-terrain select at this point. That was fun to watch. <laughs> Super burly. <laughs> yeah, Travis got a little uh, shaking around back here, but he's still alive. All that slow speed work in the hot Moab summer while towing a heavily fully stocked trailer creeps the engine temps up a bit. Uh, our temperature gauge is creeping up. We started to lose AC, and uh, she's just working real hard to call up these roads. Uh, in the meantime, crank your heater on full, blast out the heater, and turn off the AC. Okay. And just get up, just get, just get moving, get some airflow yeah. going. We climb up into the LaSalle's and get some much needed relief from the heat. This trail will take us just past 10,000 feet today before we head down to the other side for a nice evening camp. Did you have a fun day? Had a great day. What else? <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> Why don't I ask you some questions? So Nathan, uh, how was your day? Today was pretty good. Um, we went over a pass at 12,700 feet. We were just rolling into camp here and we're gonna have everybody set up their tents. We're gonna get cozy, have a couple cocktails by our magician cocktail maker. And I think we're gonna go to bed. Uh, we got a little crazy. We're gonna do steak, green, green beans. beans. What else do we have? Bread, crusty bread, crusty bread. <laughs> not soft bread, crusty bread. Well, not too crusty. Just not too right crusty. crusty. <laughs> it was crusty. Just the, cr <laughs> the right crusty amount. <laughs> I like the sneaking around. Is that a Canadian hammer? <laughs> I have pretty small hands, so I have to go with the small hammer. <laughs> Takes a little longer, but still works. <laughs> Hope the crew has gelled well, and folks seem excited to sleep in the cooler weather. Tomorrow should be another great day. Tip when extreme overlanding. I start off the trip by buying one of these and I try to drink one of these every single day. One of what? This guy. There's a lot of water. One of those every day? One of these every day I'm well on the road. It makes no it problem. It makes you feel good. Yeah. What do you guys like to drink? Well, 
I can do at least a liter of Mountain Dew a day. Day two sees us descending into the valley floor and back into the heat, before climbing back up into the mountains now on the Colorado side, where a welcome rainstorm has cleared the air. It's now time to relax and check in on the guys setting up their tents. Pretty easy trail day, pretty quick, a lot of higher speed stuff. Uh, saw a lot of changing color, a lot of changing landscape. And uh, we got to our campground. It has obviously just poured here before we got here. And uh, the camp spot that we had was completely bogged out. So we found a new location. There's nobody here, this entire campground. It's all ours, which is pretty rad. Yep, we got your water runoff line going. You are good to go. All right. I know. I got the approval. Yeah. There you go. Oh, wait, wait, Stand on. Let's try that again. Wait. There. I don't know what we're doing. Here. What are we doing? No. I. Yes. Or. Oh. Okay. Or stamp. Here we go. There. You got your. You got your badge. Yeah, we got there eventually. <laughs> that was awkward. It's okay. All I wanted I'm was your love and off. approval. So. You, and you got it. <sighs> My day is complete. We are knocking out some appetizers, and we'll get dinner rolling. So tomorrow we're going to finish the drive to Ure for the FJ Summit event. So we're going to come off the mountain and make our way down to Ure where we meet up with uh, the FJ Summit. We're settling into a really beautiful night up here on the mountains. It's a lot cooler. It came down like 30 degrees in an hour as we drove up the mountain here. And so camp night two, hotel behind, everyone's having a great time, great camp life. We had a fantastic meal and we're getting ready to crawl into the sleeping bags and get warm. Um, it is 7.41, we're going to be out of here by 8.30 is the goal, and hit your A today, so we're all excited because that means showers. What you, what you doing out here? Uh, I'm on a hunt for cell service, it's kind of the sad reality of what we do, right? Like, we're out here camping, enjoying it, and we're still tied to Instagram and to email. These journalists are like wild animals with cell phone. Another journalist in the wild. Don't be seen. <laughs> oh no. There's no cell service. <laughs> what do I do? Always looking for the best opportunity to propagate their media. Yeah, the key is to take the high ground. Hopefully, it's actually sending through, so I might actually get out this email, which would be a miracle. Not to uh, point out things, but the forerunner looks a little taller. Rolling into Ure, Colorado is always special. It's an amazing place. And we'll be meeting up with the next set of journalists tonight for a special dinner at the K.J. Wood Distillery. Uh, no, we are going to dinner with the new, some of the new journalists. There has been a little hiccup with flights, but we're going to dinner and to the distillery. Gonna meet some new journalists and have a nice dinner. We all got showers. We're all clean, we're like new fresh. people. Been sweating for days. The K.J. Wood Distillery is run by K. John Wood. And if you're ever in town, take his distillery tour. His passion for his work is sure to rub off on you a little bit. His drinking spirits are top notch too. Oh, 
Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. That was exactly what you said. No pressure. No. With all the journalists on hand, it's time to tackle the imaging pass together as a big group. We are approaching the top imaging pass. Feel it, we're at like 11.5. And uh, getting the trucks all parked out on what's called Poser Rock. So I'm gonna fly here, get some cool shots hopefully. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of, of heights. I actually hate heights, but can't. I gotta embrace the opportunity, right? Yeah, this is your chance right yeah, now. Face your fears, right? Yes. There you go, there you go. All right, little hole here, you're good. Keep coming. Two feet, keep coming, keep coming. One foot, keep coming. It goes without saying that, you don't want to screw up here. It's not the embarrassment that will kill you. Next up, the final rock climb up to the ridge of Imogene Pass, one of the most beautiful places you can see by vehicle in the world. Great day out on the trail. We just finished Imogene Pass, had lunch in Telluride, and now we're back in Uri for Thursday night dinner with TRD. We brought in all the trucks, the new Tundra, Forerunner, and Tacoma, so people can check them out. And yeah, we just it feels good to be here because it's just our people. You know, this is all Overlanders. And one of the cool things about FJ Summit is that mo a lot of the people that come here are first time people into the overland space or into the off-roading space or just getting into wheeling or whatnot. So there's a lot of uh, like excitement around here because people are just so excited to get into you know, off-roading. Clay, what's going on this morning? What's going on this morning? This morning we are packing up for round two. It's 6.30 in the morning. It's been going pretty hard. A lot of five hours, six hours nights of rest for us. Anyway, we're gonna go pick this stuff, take it to the fuel, get some water put back on, make sure we're all good to go, and meet up with the crew, load up, get out of here, and return on the Rim Rock Trail. Our return trip takes us back over the Rim Rocker Trail. This is the first time any of us have done the return trip going the other way. And in a lot of ways, it's like doing another trail as you see it all from a new perspective. We are having a great time, and everyone 
again, has had the chance to stretch the vehicles and their abilities. Nathan of Toyota even has a chance to give Samson a try on the loose section. It's amazing how a trip can change between one group of folks to another, as people bring in new skills, perspectives, and experience. We want to personally thank all of you who came with us and shared your knowledge. So here's to future adventures and time together. Thanks for joining us on Overlander.